Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Tanya Lady T. And yes, this is another edition of Lady T Sensations. Where am I at? I'm at home. What am I doing? It's lunchtime on a Saturday. Your homegirl is working, so I, I had to go ahead on and jump in and do a lunch mukbang, if you will. Y'all, we're just doing straight up hot wings. I just had a taste for some hot wings. I'm already spicy, but I wanted to be hot. <laughs> Anyway, that's it. Buffalo hot wings and some good old John Brown ranch dressing. Y'all, I'm going to explain John Brown because I get so many questions. So many questions about John Brown. But first, we got to say thank you, Lord, for this food that I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. For Christ's sake, amen. Thank you, Lord. So get on the flavor train, get on the flavor train, get on the flavor, the flavor, the flavor train, get on the flavor train, and eat some buffalo hot wings, mm, yeah, all right, I, I had to do that for y'all, but anyway, um, let's go ahead on, I got some water, I love alkaline water, and um, I just got this because if I'm still thirsty after I dip into this A&W diet, yes, let me have it. I'm just addicted, y'all. I can't let it loose yet. Anyway, uh, we're going to do it. I got a good 45 minutes to spend. I ain't going to spend all of it with y'all now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, then I got to get back logged on and handle these naives. Business is okay. I'm gonna crack this soda open. Crack a lack of how's everybody been doing? Look, y'all, for y'all for all of you who are not subscribed to my main channel, Tanya How, you need to get over there. We went um I went to my mom house uh last night and it did a Friday live over there. Again, that's my main channel. Um, but anyway, we cut up so bad. Oh my God. About the last, maybe what, 10, 15 minutes of that video. And it's called Friday Live. I'll make sure I link it at the end of this video. But look, y'all, we cut up real bad. It was so, we had such a good time. I was so tired, but still we cut up. So y'all need to go check out that video. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's got shivers of ice already. Mm. Excuse me. Let me go ahead on and dip this wing. Dip, dip this wing. I say dip this wing. Dip, dip this wing. Ha. Just get it plain. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mmm. Gonna make me a chicken bone napkin. And see, these buffalo wings, I got it from a takeout place. They have just enough heat on them that you can tolerate it. It's not too hot. You would look at that pretty chicken bang. Look at that pretty chicken wing. Mmm. Hungry too. Got a little kick to it. Mm. Sometimes that's all you want. Just give me the wings, and I don't need them other things. Ooh. Ooh, 
yes. Y'all, ain't nothing like a root beer. I'm going to dip that in the ranch. Just going just gonna to do it. Quit playing with yourself. Mmm. Yes. Flavor. As my brother Tony would say, girl, you better eat the socks and the tank top off these chicken wings. Yes, this is how you have to eat chicken wings. Okay, let me can eat that gristle. Okay. The heat's building. Yes. Okay. John Brown, I use that in an expression. A lot of people in the South, which is where I grew up in Georgia, Mississippi. Excuse me. I guess the best way to explain John when I when you hear me say John Brown this and John Brown that it's it's like a metaphor. Does that make sense? It's like a metaphor that people use to emphasize something, to make it um, put more action or put more boldness into what you're saying. It's almost like when you read the word and it says, "Verily, verily, I say unto thee," or "I say unto you." Um. It's, it's, it's saying, okay, be prepared for what I'm getting ready to tell you. Um, it has, um, it's at the pinnacle of what I'm saying. It's at the heightness of what I'm saying. I, I'm, I'm describing something so that you truly understand what I'm saying. Um, it's just like, okay, I had friends growing up, um, and mostly my white friends, I would hear when I would go over there and play with them, I would hear their parents say, you know, he was drunker than Cuda Brown. Well, I would hear that and, and it would be locked away in my brain. But as I got older, I have a really good close friend now. And she was, you know, whenever we're talking and discussing something and uh, she made mention of that. You know, girl, we went out last night. Yada, yada, yada. And I was going through this and that and the other. And I just, I got drunker than Cooter Brown. Well, when she said it now, fast forward, I know what she's talking about. Because I also heard it when I used to listen to Urban Cowboy. Not listen to it, but when I uh, watched Urban Cowboy. Well, that was one of the lines in the, in the scene where she was telling John Travolta when he was mad because uh, he threw his hamburger back across. He said, put it back on the fire. It's still moving. And so she said, but you better, sh you know, sit down and shut up. You're drunker than Cooter Brown. Well, again, Cooter Brown 
is a metaphor for drunkenness. In, in other words, when a person is making a statement and say, girl, I went out last night. I, I was so mad and upset and depressed. I got drunker than Cooter Brown. Well, if you read the story of Cooter Brown, if it will, there's several stories out there. And again, I learned all this back in the day, you know, whenever I was trying to make an understanding. So I understand when people ask, well, what do you mean by John Brown? You know, uh, anyway, um, so, you know, again, just Google it or just, you know, go study it. This is stuff we learned way back in the day. But what I'm saying is, or what I learned back in the day, I should say, that Cooter Brown, you know, he didn't want to go, he didn't want to fight in the Civil War, so thus he would stay drunk, so he wouldn't have to be, he would never qualify to go and fight in the Civil War. I mean, there's more to it than that. But when you hear people use that metaphor for drunkenness, you know, it's because they're putting emphasis on, uh, hey, I was that drunk. In other words, this was a person back in the day that drank heavily that he was not even functional to do anything worth, you know. So, again, it's just a metaphor that I use when I'm trying to emphasize or put more oomph in what I'm saying. That's all it is. Nothing more, nothing less. But now you can go even further to get in on the technical side there was a person actually named James, excuse me, John Brown. He was an abolitionist. He was anti-slavery and he would do things of action to try to help people uh, not have, to, you know, try to free slaves. Or, you know, he was against the, the, you know, that whole Confederate thing, which is what the Confederate was about, fighting the Civil War. But uh, again, I don't use it because of that purpose. But again, if somebody were to go and Google that, that's part of history. So when you hear different people use metaphors and to describe, again, it's nothing. It's like the, a conjunction, but you, okay, I love you, but that conjunction, but is saying, okay, that means, okay, let me hear what they really, really, really going to say, what they really, really going to think. So again, that's all it is. I don't want to make it too technical. It's just something that I heard people saying growing up and they would say it all the time as again, to, uh, as an adjective to describe, to put more oomph in what they're saying or pay attention to what I'm saying because this John Brown joker was a trip or this John Brown, you know, dress was this, whatever I interjected in, it's my conjunction. How about that? John Brown is my conjunction when I'm trying to bridge from one sentence to another the importance of what I'm saying, the more emphasis of it. So that's all it is. It's just a metaphor. But again, these were people who really existed. Again, same way with Cooter Brown. I think it's spelled C-O-O-T-E-R, maybe, Brown. But again, I, I heard that as a little girl, locked it away. As I got older, I heard it on Urban Cowboy. But again, and that's what people use. And again, it's pretty just popular in the South. Um, you know, it's just like on the West Coast, um, you hear people use different metaphors to describe something that they're saying. You know, it's, it might be totally different uh, than what you hear people on the South say. Like, for instance, I'm a, well, and, 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 and this don't have anything with do, doing with adjectives. Well, when I moved here to North Carolina, a trunk of the car was the trunk of a car, the trunk. Well, when I moved here, people would say the boot of the car. And I thought, what, what do you mean the boot? Well, that none of that made any sense to my mind. So anyway, so I can understand why people ask, well, why does she always say jumper? Again, metaphorically, it's just to emphasize what I'm getting ready to say, to put emphasis on it. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. But uh, anyway, good question. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that because I know a lot of times we hear stuff and you're like, what? What the John Brown does that mean? What the John Brown does John Brown mean? So yeah, anyway, that's that's what it is, y'all. So let's get back to these chicken wings. <laughs> so I hope that explains it for some people that were just interested. I just like to use it. Mm. 
It's almost like people who always say, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Well, some younger people, when they talk, they always say, you know, like, um, and you know, like, they, they love to use that word like in between each word or something. Yeah, y'all need to go check out our video on Friday. We cut up over there. Mm. 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 Oh, I started watching, um, that movie, um, The Tower with Idris Elba. I need to catch the last, <clears throat> I dozed off because I was so tired once I got home. Yep, I got it. And it's pretty good. I just dozed off. Don't you hate when you start a movie? And you don't realize how tired you are. Till your body finally starts shutting down. Mmm. Mm. 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 They want to let that meat loose. Mm. Sometimes, y'all, you just got to grow up. I cash and see y'all. I'm working, I'm eating. And I'm in between washing clothes. I ain't have but three loads this time. Trying to do better and wash during the week. Yes, burn, baby, burn. Disco inferno, burn. Turn this mother out. Oh, yeah, y'all, my neighbor. She got, she got people helping her move her furniture and stuff in. And she just talked loud. Just like me, I talk sometimes loud and I, I know I laugh loud. I've always laughed out. And, um... 
She was out there talking, telling them what to do. Like I said, which is fine. You know, people gonna make noise when they're moving in. I don't have a problem with that. But she was out there talking. And like I said, I was in my bedroom folding up laundry, you know, so I could hear, you know, her outside. And she was going, huh? She was telling them, she sounded like a machine gun. She was giving out them orders. What's that? So I can't remember that song. And I got so tickled because I was folding, but I could hear her because she was talking extremely loud. Y'all remember that song? Put it stick up. Ha, 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 stick up. Put it stick up. Ha, ha, stick up. When I tell you she was guilt going off like, shoo. But you know what was funny? They understood every word she said. So I guess it must have been, you know, people she knew, of course. That's another conversation. I know I'm country. I know some of y'all might listen to my videos and say, what did she say? And of course, I just talk like this when I'm away from work. Or my downtime. But now when I have to talk very professional and clear and speak clearly where everyone can understand the words that are coming out of my mouth. I don't know when to turn it on and turn it off. But what I'm saying is, I get so tickled sometimes. I be, whether I'm in the lunch line at work or just out and about in public, I get so tickled because if you're not used to hearing a certain type of twang or dialect or whatever, and they're talking, people are talking English, but they're, 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 they're draw, whether it be a southern draw or just, just downright foot stumping country. I get so tickled. There's a guy. Well, anyway, let me not say it like that. Cause you never know. You never know who's watching your video. Anyway. Let me just say this. You ever been listening to two people talk? Either because you're being nosy or you just right there, like I said, standing in line and you can't escape it. Oh yeah, baby. Burn. It's starting to hot. It's hot, y'all. It's hot. But anyway, they be talking to one another and 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 not that you like I said, you trying to ear hustle. And you be thinking to yourself, what in the, what in the world? Was, was that pig lacking? No Latin? Under the earth Latin? I mean, you be trying to figure out how in the world did they understand what? Now, one person might be sounding, you know, a certain way. And the other person say, oh, yeah, yeah. And they answering and they understand, they understand every single word. <laughs> Some people, when they talk, they sound like them teachers on Charlie Brown. And then um, you, that's what you hear, and your, that's what your ear hear. And the other person that they're talking to say, oh, yeah, really? Oh, you went down to the car dealership and got a, pro what, 0% fine? Rick, girl, I wish I had some, you know. And that person is answering, and they know it. But in the meantime, you you even understand their response. But that person talking to your ears is mm. But anyway, I hope once my neighbor gets settled in all the way, she'll calm down. And I guess, you know, 
I guess I just need to shut up about it because maybe she's just trying to get herself settled in. And once she gets settled in with all her stuff, she, you know, her spirit will be settled. And she'll stop all that hollering. Oh my goodness, y'all. I can't even explain it to you. Ooh. Ooh, I just can't even. Uh, that root beer. Jesus. Mm. I ain't had me some hot ones in a minute. This was actually by request. Somebody requested this in the comment section. So, whoop, here it is. Whoop, here it is. And one of my viewers, I can't remember if it was on this channel or my Tanya Howe channel, had had um said that Belks has got a sale going on. If everything seems to go as the plan, I haven't had any major issues at work. I'm going to have to go down to that John Brown Mall. <laughs> And get me some shoes. I need me some red flat shoes, y'all. Yes, honey, you have to do it like that. You have to do it like that. The last one, y'all. Last one. I can't do the grill. Oh, that was good, y'all. Mm. Mm. It's so good to make you rub your feet together. Mm. Oh my goodness, that was good. Oh yeah, shout out to B Love's Life. Her and her family are doing the daggone thing, ain't they? That is so awesome to me, honey. Got the whole family involved. I mean, that is just awesome. They they are just climbing higher and higher, and I'm I'm hoping to be headed up that way too, y'all. I'm serious. Awesome. I think that's just awesome. I really do. Nothing but love. Nothing but love and support. All right, y'all. I got to do it. I got to do it. Yes. Oh, yes. It's alkaline water. Ooh, that water popped up in my nose. Ooh, y'all. Oh, that was good. I'll knock the rest of that on out in a minute. 
But anyway, I know y'all didn't come on here to see me drink that water, but by itself. Oh, what y'all? What? Feeding America, we ain't done that in a while. Oh, get your chains out, children. Get your chains out. Get your change out, children. Get your change out. Get it, get it, get it, get it out. Mm. Get it, get it, get it, get it out. All right, y'all. We're doing it. We already know what it's for. Anyway, let me go, y'all. Ooh, excuse me. My mouth is on fire, but not not like that spicy new to challenge fire. Thank God. But anyway, thanks for stopping on the Flavor Train. Of course, y'all check us back on tomorrow. We're going to be doing the family mukbang. I think we're, and we're still going to do the Chinese takeout. I'm, it's going to be on me. So mom don't have to worry about getting in the kitchen. But anyway, thanks for stopping on the Flavor Train because what? What? Flavor is where it's at. Bye, y'all. Have a good Saturday afternoon.